Hello, everybody. Welcome to the City Taste of Tennis live stream. Oh, I'm Louisa. Let me just make sure. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Louisa Trico, and today I'm going to be making chicken lettuce wraps, Asian inspired chicken lettuce wraps. So, thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, I'm going to show you the ingredients we have. So we have the lettuce wraps, rice vinegar, salt and pepper, some soy sauce, some garlic, some ginger, um, sesame oil, water chestnuts, and scallions, and then um, peppers and onions that I diced. Hey, everyone. Um, I have the recipe here, so I don't forget it. But, um, oh yeah, and then of course we have the ground meat, and they're gonna be really yummy. So hopefully you guys are, oh hi, everyone's joining. Um, so I'm gonna turn the stove on. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil. <laughs> For that to get hot. Um, you guys can check out some other Taste of Tennis recipes that people have been making with the hashtag what's in your kitchen. If you guys start cooking, make sure you use that hashtag. Taste of Tennis wants to see your videos too. Um, okay, so I'm gonna put the ground meat. So I'm just making enough for like four servings, but you can so I'm using a pound of meat. Um, you can obviously double it or use half servings. <laughs> right. Okay, so meat is on the stove. I'm going to just start mixing it into the oil. This is a fun recipe because it's kind of, I mean, it's healthy enough. And I know a lot of us probably been uh, over the weekend, like watching the Super Bowl, not always eating so healthy. So this is a good uh, post Super Bowl back on track meal. It's got lots of veggies. Obviously we're using lettuce wraps instead of like tortillas or something. You can use tortillas too, but these are go really well with lettuce wraps. Um, so I'm gonna put the phone here so I can. All right, so this is already smelling pretty good. I'm gonna start. If you guys wanna ask questions, go ahead. Um, I see some people waving, hello. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, so I'm going to stir this, it's starting to sizzle, and then after like three or four minutes, I'm going to add in some of the veggies that we have, and then I'm going to add in the sauce. So while this is starting to sizzle, while this is starting to sizzle, I'm going to mix some of the sauce. Maybe I can move this here. Okay, so this is um, gochujang sauce. It's like spicy Korean pepper sauce. Um, and then we have scallions, water chestnuts, peppers and onions, and some ginger and some garlic. So let's start. One tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. And then two tablespoons of soy sauce. Love me some soy sauce. If you don't have, um, actually the original recipe calls for um, not the gochujang sauce, but it's like poison sauce. I don't have any, so I'm substituting. And you can also add a little bit of honey 
because it's a little bit sweet. Um, tablespoon of ginger, and then a tablespoon of minced garlic, or you can use fresh garlic and like chop it, but um, I didn't have any fresh garlic. Okay, so here's our sauce. And I'm going to mix it all up. I'm gonna add just a little bit of the gochujang. Have I ever used oyve sauce? No, what is that? I've never heard of that. Please explain. Um, so this is starting to sizzle. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to Penny, what is oy vey sauce? I don't know what that is. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm going to add the peppers and onions. I'm gonna switch it around so you can see. That cooks for another couple minutes until the onions are soft and the turkey is pretty much brown. It's already pretty brown. I had it like a little bit too high, I think. <laughs> but um, if you're just joining, I see some people just joining. Welcome. We're making Asian chicken lettuce wraps. I forget where I got this recipe from, but uh, it's kind of like the P.F. Chang's chicken lettuce wrap recipe. I don't know how many of you have had that, but it's, it's really, really good. Um, Oy Bay's really good combi combo teriyaki sauce. Ooh, and soy sauce. That sounds really good. No, I've never used that, but I will keep that in mind for sure. Okay, and I'm gonna mix up our sauce that's gonna go on top of the ground chicken. Um, it's a tablespoon of ginger, a tablespoon of garlic, a little splash of gochujang that makes it spicy, and then two tablespoons of soy sauce, I think, and a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. So it's not all that much. This is for like four people. Um, and, oh, and then I have to add also the water chestnuts. So these are great. Water chestnuts that are drained and diced. I'm gonna pour those in. And hear the sizzle. My screen is fogging up. <laughs> it's starting to sizzle. Um, oh, I see some questions. So, how is your training routine during these challenging times? Um, actually, I've been, so those of you who, like follow me know I've been injured for about a year. Um, so, I actually wasn't planning on playing any tournaments during this time. Uh, the timing just worked out that way. So I've kind of just been rehabbing and training very little um, for the first few months of quarantine. And then um, the last couple months I've been ramping it up a little bit more because my shoulder's doing better. And hopefully it holds up and I can start playing some tournaments like, I don't know, in the spring would be great. But we'll see. Baby steps with a shoulder injury. I've never had like a real severe shoulder injury like this, but um, it's kind of a constant thing. Some days are better than others, so we'll see. Someone said I have that same cookbook. Oh, the Better Homes new cookbook. 
this is my mom's. Uh, I'm in my mom's kitchen. This isn't my kitchen, but we um, were up here for the weekend. We we're here for the storm. I don't know how many people watching are in New York, but um, we had some pretty, some pretty severe snow last week. Um, yeah, it does. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. So you can see the meat is starting to brown. The peppers and onions are starting. Okay, I can't put the phone too close because it's fogging. But uh, the peppers are starting to soften and the onions are softening. And the meat is cooking. All right. Next, we just have to add... I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. We have to add the sauce and... Then at the end, after a couple more minutes, I'm gonna add the scallions. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper. I'm actually gonna put some salt and pepper right now so that um, while it's still cooking. Ah, uh, that's starting to sizzle. Um, yeah, so this is kind of like, I guess it could be an appetizer or a meal, it depends how hungry you are, <laughs> but I kind of like it for a meal if I'm not super, super hungry, especially after like a, you know, a weekend, Super Bowl weekend where you're not eating so healthy, or at least I wasn't. <laughs> Would you recommend this as a post-workout meal? Seems like a good and tasty source of protein. Yes, actually would be great. Um... Depending on what you're doing, you might need to throw in like some rice, but uh, definitely good source of protein, lots of veggies, not a lot of, I mean, there's not like a lot of sugar or oils or anything. It's really uh, pretty straightforward, pretty healthy, and the lettuce wraps make it extra healthy. Um, what's the best cheese for a grilled cheese? Um... Provolone cheese? <laughs> I don't know. Definitely not American cheese. Maybe cheddar. That's a good question. Um, what type of routine are you on for recovery? Did your meals change? Um, when I first got injured, I actually noticed that I wasn't eating as much because I wasn't as hungry and I wasn't, you know, training six hours a day or four hours a day or whatever. So I actually haven't been eating I mean, I hadn't been eating as much, and so I've started, as I've started training again, I'm <laughs> noticing I'm getting hungrier, and I, you know, have to, like, put more thought into, like, what I'm eating and eating, you know, enough protein and all that stuff. But um, as far as recovery, just good old rehab. I didn't have surgery, so there was no, like, you know, time where I wasn't doing anything. I've always been able to do, like, cardio and running and stuff, so I'm lucky that I didn't lose my, like, fitness. Um, so I, I've been trying to keep it so that I could just like jump back in to tournaments as soon as I'm, as soon as my shoulder's ready. Um, okay, I think it's time to add the sauce. The turkey seems to be browning, so I'm going to mix it up again. Why don't I show you? <laughs> yeah. That smells really good. I know you can't smell it, but you can imagine. It's like sweet, spicy, a little bit of, I mean, there's soy sauce, so it's salty. What are the best sources of protein? <laughs> Someone didn't like my provolone cheese answer. I don't know, it's my favorite cheese. Don't hate. <laughs> um, what are the best sources of protein? It depends. This is going to be a boring answer, but I really like chicken. So like my go-to, I cook a lot of, when I'm training, I cook a lot of just like chicken breasts and easy stuff that doesn't take too long. Um, and that is healthy and I can do a lot with, like you can mix it up with, you know, the rest of the meal. But I guess, I mean, chicken, I eat, I eat all kinds of meat. So I love a good steak every now and then. I don't eat actually that much red meat, but um, 
I don't not eat red meat. This is chicken. All right, so this is what it's looking like. The sauce is starting to kind of get soaked up. Cheese haters, yeah, I know. What do I use for sides? So, I love vegetables, <laughs> and I know that's another like eye roll, right? But I do love vegetables, and I like to mix it up, so I cook a lot of like roasted broccoli, I roast carrots, I do Brussels sprouts. Um, and then my signature dish, if you will, is like, I, I, I eat a lot of quinoa as a carb, so I'll do diced peppers and onions and scallions and mix it up with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, and then make quinoa and like pour it over kind of like a, like a quinoa salad type of deal. Um, lots and lots of veggies. I love sweet potatoes too. They're probably my favorite. Sweet potatoes are probably my favorite um, side for anything. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna cook this for maybe another two minutes. I don't know, what do you guys think? I haven't really been timing, maybe I should have, but it's starting to look pretty good. Um, what are some things that you guys have been eating during quarantine or some things you've been cooking? I know I've been experimenting with like baking and cooking and just everyone has time on their hands. So um, in the beginning, you know, I was making like a new cookie or muffin or something like every week. <laughs> but I want to hear what you guys are cooking. Let me know. I'm gonna add a touch more gochujang because it's not smelling so spicy. Um, if you don't like spicy, if you don't like spicy, I don't recommend using gochujang because it's really spicy. And uh, fans of Korean food will know that it's a, it's, it's, it'll get you. There's a kick for sure. Who has impressed you most so far at the Australian? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think, honestly, honestly, I'm just impressed they're having the tournament. Um, coming from New York, where it's still, like, pretty crazy on lockdown, and they're, you know, just the thought of having, like, people without masks outside is so foreign to me now. Um, so I just think it's cool they're having it. Um, Serena had a, a pretty crazy outfit, but very cool, kind of iconic. The first one of its kind where it's like half legging, half spandex. I don't know what it is, but definitely for tennis. Um, cause you can like put the ball, but that's about it. Who are you cheering for? I'm cheering for all the Americans. <laughs> pretty boring answer, but. Um, we made passion fruit butter. Ooh, that sounds good. Wow, that sounds really good. Homemade pizza, sour cream, pond cake, ziti. What is pond cake? Please elaborate. Someone said American cheese bangs. Yep, American cheese is, eh, it's not really cheese, is it? I don't know. Okay, so this is like just about done. Where are my scallions? Oh. I chopped these up beforehand so you guys didn't have to watch me chopping. <laughs> um, just throw these on top as a final touch for like a minute, a minute or so, just so they're not, you know, cold. But it's been really fun to still be able to do these like live streams and you know live videos and 
all that stuff to stay connected with people. This is my second Taste of Tennis live stream. The first one I did, if you guys were watching that one too, was with Nick, my brother, who was in culinary school at the time. So that one was really fun. I honestly didn't really do much. I just <laughs> left him to the difficult stuff. Okay, so this is about done. But yeah, it's been really fun to do these. I love I love Taste of Tennis. I hope we can have some more events soon once it's safe. Those are always so fun. I've been to I've been to the New York one, I've been to DC. I did the Indian Wells one. I actually haven't had a chance to do the Miami Taste of Tennis because I didn't play that year, but maybe one day. Um, okay. We saw that on the Taste of Tennis IGTV grid. Oh yeah, with my brother. He um, He's in, back in school now, so he couldn't come for this stream, but maybe if I do another one. Um, okay, so. What location was your favorite? Oh, for Taste of Tennis? That's a good question. I mean, I'm biased because I'm from New York, so I want to say New York. Oh, I'm just gonna transfer these over here into their little lettuce. Ah, fell. Um, I really love the New York one because the venue's really cool. It's kind of, I don't know, it's huge. So there's always a lot going on. It's very New York. <laughs> um, but the DC one was really cool too. It was a little bit more of like a intimate, like an underground feel almost. Um, Indian Wells, I mean, they're all cool, honestly. Like the Indian Wells one was cool. It was really different from any of the other ones. So... I like that they're all different and they're all unique, kind of take on the person, you know, the the place where they're in. So that part's really cool, um, which is why I'm excited to do the Miami one, because I like Miami and I feel like they'd put a, a Miami spin on it. <laughs> um, that sauce looks amazing. Yeah, the sauce is good. You can actually, what I might do, well, actually, I'm not going to drizzle more sauce because this is already going to be so spicy. But here we go. This is the final product. Some chicken lettuce. Wait, is it blurry? Maybe I'm too zoomed in. Some lettuce wraps. These look really yummy. Um, and they're healthy. And like I said, you can kind of make them as an appetizer or a meal. I mean, there are not so many here, but um, if I was making a meal, I'd probably make a few more. And then this uh, ground meat with you know veggies and veggies and onions like you can put this on pretty much anything like you can make a salad you can put it on you know tortillas you can put it over rice so it's also great to make too much and then save it in the fridge and you can always reheat it and use it for um you can make a bunch of different meals with it so it's pretty cool um so that's it i guess thanks thanks everyone for watching if you guys make anything at home uh, Taste of Tennis wants to see your cooking videos too, so make sure you tag Taste of Tennis and then City Taste of Tennis and then also use the hashtag What's in Your Kitchen so they can see all your creations. Um, and yeah, tune back in to the Taste of Tennis Instagram page to see more videos like this of, of people cooking. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope this was exciting and uh you know, if you guys make this recipe, you know, tag me too. And I, I want to see it. I want to see how they come out. Let me know. Shoot me a comment. Um, yeah. So thanks, guys.